What's up everybody? My name's Dean. Welcome back to my channel on this website called YouTube. I'm very happy that you are back. Today we're gonna be looking at a lot of fun stuff. I've been going down a wormhole of uh, Architectural Digest's videos. Hey AD. And you know, celebrities are gracious enough to let this YouTube account into their home and you know, they show everyone how they live. Hi, AD. This channel has some of the most interesting mixes of underwhelming and overwhelming designs. Also, a lot of this stuff just really proves that no matter how much money you have, like, you can still have, like, shitty taste and stuff. With, like, old vintage French chairs. I just think that some really rich people and celebrities miss the mark on a lot of things that they put in their home. Now, obviously, this is all my opinion, but I think a lot of people will agree with me after you watch this video. Like, I feel like when people get super rich, they just kind of lose touch a little bit. I don't know. It's it's, inter it's interesting to see. But then again, there are some really good episodes. The Liv Tyler video is very good. Her place is beautiful. This actually is where everyone was a baby. They all started out here as a baby. Well, JJ Reddick's apartment in Brooklyn is also gorgeous. And put the door to the entire master suite uh, right here as opposed to back towards the bedroom. To the left here is my office. I think there's just a healthy mix of every different type of style and design and whatnot that they've, you know, brought together. But there's two, maybe three, that stick out to me that are just so underwhelming and overwhelming. And we're gonna take a look at them. Now, I'm not really a design guy. Now, I'm not really a design guy. I'm not really a design guy. I don't know, I just feel like I have a pretty decent grasp on what's ugly and what's pretty. <laughs> So we're just gonna get right into this. First, we're gonna start with Jessica Alba. Hi. Now, right when I saw the name Jessica Alba, I was like, I'm an idiot. Like, when I clicked on it, I was like, expecting to see Jessica Alba from 2009. No, she has three children, and she seems a little on edge. Let's see what all that good luck Chuck money bought. I'm Jessica. I'm Honor. I'm Haven. And this is Hayes. What? <laughs> is this the new Fantastic Four movie? Jessica, Honor. Haven and Hayes. Oh, well, Jessica, these are my children. Constantine, Integrity, and Blur. What's up with having so much money and just rolling gutter balls on the names? What the fuck? Why is your house matte black? We moved in <coughs> in about seven. Jessica, you got a cat? Seven months ago. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Right away, just too much of wall. The staircase and create this like beautiful solid architectural piece. Why don't you come on in? And We're already in. When Santa comes, he puts oh, sweetie, Santa isn't real. You're stupid. We actually built this fireplace for stockings. <laughs> That's hilarious, Jessica. I spend a lot of time on Pinterest. I have many Pinterest boards, and I really wanted there to be like an old world kind of French vibe. Jessica, aren't you a mother now? I don't think you can still say things that don't make any sense like old world French vibe. We definitely still have slip covers. There's a chic way to do slip covers. I mean, I get it. You want to protect the furniture, but like, come on, you're Jessica Alba. Get rid of the fucking slip covers. The only thing we took from the other house was our family. When we moved in, there was lots of crown molding and molding around all of the doorways. And we basically just streamlined everything and, and pulled all of that out. I don't know, there's just something about this. It does not seem like this would be her home. You're like, what? I've been dreaming about this kitchen probably my whole life, because I do love to cook. And so I've spent a lot of time on, again, on Pinterest. <laughs> Wait, this is her dream kitchen? Those big dark cupboards that just stick out like sore thumbs? And a lot of Art Digest pins that I've done. <sighs> Whatever, I don't know. I guess I don't know what good stuff is. I mean, just kidding, I do. That's ugly. I swear to God, if she says that's a breakfast nook, I'm gonna freak. I already know she does. The breakfast nook is another one of my childhood fantasies to be able to have a breakfast nook. What a strange childhood fantasy to have a breakfast nook. This is some of the candy that we got from- oh, Yelling. Probably the best part of the house, don't you think, girls? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it definitely is not. Look how plain, like, you know what I mean? It's Jessica Alba. Um, hello, honey, Fantastic Four, good luck Chuck, the one where she's in the water, Sin City, and all you got is just that table, those chairs, and grass? This was not here when we bought the house. The mountains weren't there when you bought the house? Huh. Old vintage French chairs, and they're like mismatched. Yeah, it looks like shit. Which is my vibes. The place that actually came from our one of our best friends, and they had it for their kids for like 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. <sighs> you got a hand-me-down jungle gym? Your kids are gonna get splinters like crazy. Jessica, spend the fuck 
fucking money. Like, come on. Who knew Alba was quite the penny pincher? Do you think her backyard's like the laughing stock of the neighborhood? <laughs> like Reese Witherspoon lives on her block and they're like, we're not going there. That is fucking weird. It's nice because we have this big. Uh, what was that? Mm. Sideboards I got, they're vintage. Here goes Jessica saving money again. Boo, don't thrift. And then if you want to switch out the slip covers. You A-list or not, stop having slip covers. And totally washable. <laughs> This was another thing that I probably overpinned on Pinterest. Was Stop talking about Pinterest. This is my room. I really like it because I get privacy in it. Aw, this room's actually really cool. It's true. The kids' bedrooms are the nicest parts of this home. My husband was really into having a TV in our bedroom. I was really not down with that. Our compromise was I found an easel that you can put a TV on and we can move it out. Oh, that's kind of ugly. Because we have such stressful... Uh, I know, right? Your house is bland. See the mountains, it's just such a pretty view. Those mountains weren't there when they moved in. Yeah, You're just home and we annoy you. I mean, you know, it's just being mom. Jessica, blink twice if you need help. I spend a lot of time in here. The girls like to take showers with me. It's kind of weird. My husband always complained that the reason why he didn't like taking showers was because he said I stole all the water. It's like wood in there and there's a bathtub. Like it's weird, right? Like am I the only one? Like this is ugly as fuck. I'm done. This, uh, this house is bumming me out and it's $10 million. I'm gonna say it, Jessica. Your house is like... Chugi. We're gonna watch the video where we get to go see Tommy Hilfiger's home. Hey, do you guys wanna go to the Tommy Hilfiger outlet store? Oh, you mean winners? Hey! Hi, Hi Adrian. Adrian. To our plaza apartment. You gonna do the tour? Why don't you, you start do, the tour. Why don't you start the tour? They are so rich. Like, there's a hint of awkwardness because they don't experience a lot of regular things. It's just, wow. Leads right on to basically our living room. That's where you live? How could you possibly like putt around and have a coffee and just kind of be bummy and not dressed or showered and and be like lazy even when your ceilings look like that? Every single floor of this house looks like a hotel lobby that was designed by cocaine. This is one of my favorite spots in the apartment. Sort of little hanging out nook where we read books or magazines and have a drink and chat. Dude, nooks are for the richest people. Like what is up with that? We just think it's iconic. Literally so iconic. All the buildings in the area are lit. They're lit. <laughs> So you have a whole different vibe at night. He said lit and vibes? This guy's Tommy Hilfiger. You are young. Follow us through here. We can show you the dining room. The dining room we never use. You wake up here every day. Like this is your home. Our little bar area. Tommy, you usually are a Chardonnay drinker. Is that correct? That's Would you correct. agree with me? This is my drink, Don Julio, 1942. Yeah, she told us who she was right away. I like her. I can't say that the kitchen sees a lot of cooking action because after all, that's what restaurants are for. I know it's a big place, but doesn't it seem like kind of cramped, you know? There's, if, the walls and ceilings are so busy with like pointless designs and colors and textures that it just, it's too much. I don't know, it's, a, it's sensory overload for me. You do make the occasional piece of toast. <laughs> Regular. Modern room in the house. Dee wanted all the TVs behind mirrors. It looks like someone had to be murdered for every single piece of furniture in this house to be made. It's a mirror, no, it's a TV. No, it's a mirror, it's a TV. Trying to figure out how to turn it off. Funny, you're funny. You're both hilarious. Okay, uh, we did it. Oh, bumped into her by accident, and so awkward and rich and not really funny and kind of out of touch. It's okay though. What the hell's like the slogan for Tommy Hilfiger anyway, like as a brand? Tommy Hilfiger, too bad it's not polo. Something special to show you. This is my office. These were a gift from Mick Jagger. These books were gifts from Karl Lagerfeld. We have a painting my wife bought me for my birthday from Charles Wiggins of the Plaza. D had a fight with the concierge at the Ritz Hotel in Paris to get these oh, dogs. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I forgot about that. You fought with the concierge at a hotel to get that little knickknack of puppies? You bitch. Where are we going now? Where are we going? Are we going upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Like, look at this 
room, it's too much. This is actually the most overwhelming apartment I've ever seen in my life. This is the master suite, which we have to clean. Yeah. <laughs> which, <laughs> cut. Oh my God, they're in so much trouble. I bet she can be super mean. I mean, we just found out because she got those porcelain dogs by yelling at someone in France, so. Here is our master bedroom. I love it because it's so airy and light. It's cozy, but it's elegant. These two don't even have buttholes, you know? They don't fart. They don't <laughs> Mini bar, coffee station. When you wake up, you don't have to go down to the kitchen. That's actually kind of nice. And have our coffee overlooking Central Park. Honestly, that is breathtaking. I s decided to set up my own boutique. I have basically uniform taste. Dude, that's your closet. Every day you see this. What does that do to someone as a person? What inconveniences do these two face? Would I ever see eye to eye with them on something? This is Sebastian. This is a child's bedroom. This is his room. This is my favorite piece in his room. It's actually two giant drums that have been cut out to make bookshelves and I thought it was just such a and probably cost $27,000 for something he's gonna outgrow in like four years. Good job, guys. They are the complete opposite of Jessica Alba. I hope Sebastian's actually 28 years old. That'd be a lot more fun. This is sort of another whole wing that we did for Tommy's teenage daughter, Elizabeth. They did a whole wing for his teenage daughter. Look at the wall, what the fuck? Fuck, fuck. Like, look at this. Those elephant tusks are fake. We do not harm animals in the making of this apartment. We'd like everybody to know. This is the dome in the building. So we have the natural bracing. This isn't where people live. This is for coffee, tea, and desserts. Hey or it's a table. You probably answer emails there sometimes too. That's right, let's see, a little more angle. There you go, good. And then, sip. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for coming, bye. They are so rich, it is not even possible for them to be even a little bit humorous anymore. They are so stiff and awkward. If you lived there for a full year, you would end up yearning for a house like Jessica Alba's because you're just like, oh my God, I wanna be bored again and kinda stare at a blank wall. Okay, we're gonna look at the Michael Kors one now because he has a pretty underwhelming apartment. Michael Kors, thank you so much for being the first designer bag owned by the richest girl in a public high school. On a separate note, did anyone else find it super weird when you found out that these designer brand names were actually real people? I for real thought that like these names were generated in like a boardroom somewhere. I didn't think these were real guys guys or real women. I had no clue. I thought people just came up with catchy names to put on shirts and bags and umbrellas. I don't know. Guess I'm stupid. Hey, AD. Welcome to our New York City apartment. Lobby of an office building. The most we ever cook in here, quite honestly, is probably a toasted bagel, maybe some iced tea and a coffee. It's the old joke. What's my favorite thing to make for dinner? It's reservations. Michael Kors, um, that's an Airbnb. I mean, the kitchen seems to be the spot where we have our black bowls. This lacquered black bowl we bought in Vietnam, and then this. Imagine having such an underwhelming kitchen that you talk about bowls. Sort of classic Elsa Peretti black bowl. I love all the black bowls because you can fill it with fruit. It looks amazing if you pop lemons into it. There's just nothing going on. Come on, man. Like, you're Michael Kors. I fancy myself a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a green thumb, but I've got a lot of help. I've got to be honest. I'm so bored. Shut up. You come in from the terrace into this great dining area. This was found in New Mexico. We get it, Coors, you've been places. <laughs> we continue with all the collecting of bowls and baskets. I mean, whatever, man, but like, come on, like have better shit. <laughs> It'd be really cool if he opened one door in his apartment and it was just full of exotic dancers. You know what I mean? It was, there was just dicks and asses and tits and cash everywhere. That'd be sick. But don't get me wrong. This is a beautiful apartment. This is Michael Kors, okay? We, I know his name because of this. Get Michael Kors if you're was fucking Michael Kors. I was expecting more, weren't you? Come on, this is, ugh. You know what I mean? Like there's just a basket under there. This is a Sarah. No, that's a painting. Collecting of bowls and baskets. Another stupid bowl with nothing in it. At least put some shit in there. Put a ton of cash in there. Put like a bunch of dildos in there. Put a ton of 
empty jewel pods in there. I don't care, just do something. A little Annie Leibovitz on the table, and you need a little Annie in your life. I've gone 25 years without having any Annie Leibovitz in my life, and I'm good, I think. Am I? This over here is kind of crazy. Is that actually kind of crazy, or is it just an end table? Nature, and then craftsmanship. Boo! Boo! Have more of an eccentric design, boo! This piece that we're hanging over the fireplace here is actually a slice of a tree. And what's better over a fireplace than wood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In addition to the bowls, baskets, and boxes. It looks like a startup company just got a loan and this was the office that they got. You have guests come over, why not have the powder room be a little fun? So this room for cocaine is this one. And then this room for cocaine is also this one. New York Central, this powder room. And then this portrait here, I was surprised by my husband. Wait, he's gay? Huh. And I love that you have the ability to hang out in this chaise. That's called a chaise? <laughs> and then I wear my sunglasses all the time. That is a beautiful closet. I'll give that to him. What's the best thing in the world to be able to actually take a bath and see a boat go by? You must have lived some life if you're like, what's the best thing in the world? to take a bath and see a boat go by. Where I am in my life, the best thing in the world is making it right to the toilet before I squirt shit into my underwear. <laughs> Thanks guys for stopping by. Thanks Michael, your place looks kind of achievable. Well, that's enough of that. I would like to thank everybody for sitting down or laying down or standing and watching this video on YouTube. Uh, my name is Dean, I'm trying my best to upload weekly content. I'm gonna put links to my socials down below. I'm also gonna put links to my podcast down below. And just another quick reminder, because I don't think anyone gave a shit the last time I said it, but I have made a Clean Hamster Podcast YouTube channel, and from episode 100 onward, they will be videos. Isn't that insane? Isn't that fucking crazy? Yeah, all right? Big podcaster. Probably number one of all time ever. So keep your eyes and ears open for that shit. Uh, other than that, I'm still gonna try my best to give you stuff here. So thank you for enjoying and watching whatever the hell this is that I do, and I appreciate all of you. Thank you for the continued support. And have an amazing day. <laughs>